The last month and the last year were the hottest ever recorded. It's been six months since Superstorm Sandy brought home the urgency of acting on climate disruption. Thousands of you across the nation responded to Sierra Club's challenge with 100 days of action, 100 Días de Acción. Nationwide and here in LA, activists told the coal industry that its dirty fuel is history. At hundreds of events, you have shouted that the clean energy future is now. On a cold winter day, you blew away the record for largest climate rally in U.S. history. Take out that pen, Mr. President. Write down the words, I reject the Keystone XL pipeline. Taken to the streets of Washington and dozens of other cities, more than 50,000 strong, we demanded to be heard at dozens of town hall meetings from Nebraska to Pennsylvania, New Jersey to New Mexico. And we hammered out a drum beat on our smartphones and laptops, over a million online actions. Cities like mine rose up and said, the time is now. We will make Los Angeles the cleanest, greenest, big city in the United States of America. Maryland committed to providing offshore wind to power the state. We're meeting the climate crisis head on, and we need our president to fully commit to this fight. We will respond to the threat of climate change, knowing that the failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. You gave us hope, President Obama. Now give us bold solutions. Reject the Keystone XL pipeline. Make power plants stop polluting our water and air. Protect our beautiful nation from those who will drill and frack and blow the tops off mountains. Stand with us, Mr. President, as we push for green jobs and clean energy prosperity. And tell the fossil fuel industry that the corrupting influence on Washington is over now. And thanks to all of you who have joined us. Gracias a todos. And we must continue marching, dancing, and demanding for the safer, healthier, and cleaner world we all know we can achieve.